So a question that I get asked all the time is, have you and John ever played a prank on each other that just went too far? Well, for the most part, John and I, yeah, we get mad in the moment, but then we get over it and we're happy that we made other people laugh. But I do have a story where I played a prank on somebody else and a prank ruined a friendship. So this is story time with Nikki. This is actually kind of sad because this girl was one of my best friends growing up and after high school she moved to another country. Well, one day she hits me up and she says that she's coming out to LA and she's thinking about moving to LA and she tells me that she wants to get into production and work behind the scenes and she even came over to my house at one point and was telling me that she wanted to be a YouTuber. So she was staying out here with a family member and she said that she was looking for a job and trying to get her roots set in LA. So a friend of mine was working for a hidden camera prank TV show and he tells me that he's looking for uh, someone who's looking for a job. And so I knew my one of my girlfriend who is out here and Kevin from The Neighbors, you guys know him. And um, I, I told him about these people and he said, well, they needed a girl for the prank show. And I thought I kind of felt the situation out because I was, you know, I was thinking about it. I know, I understand that pranks aren't for everybody and sometimes they can go too far but the prank was explained to me as just this harmless prank it wasn't like anything big nothing was getting dumped on her she was just gonna feel a little awkward in a job interview plus she was telling me that she wanted to be a youtuber so obviously she was comfortable being on camera that's like one thing you always need to watch out for like sometimes people just aren't comfortable on camera so I thought that everything would be fine she was also telling me about how she was broke she didn't have very much money and you actually get paid to be on prank TV shows, which it wasn't like a ton of money or anything like that, but I thought, hey, I'm helping out my friend. She's a little bit down on her luck. She's gonna have some money to like go out to a nice dinner, go out for drinks or something afterwards. And um, this could be a really great opportunity for her. She wants to work in production. She gets to meet a production crew, which funny enough, that's actually how my friend got the job working for the production company. He was cast on a hidden camera a prank show he got pranked he just started talking with everybody they loved him and um, he set up one of his friends and they hired him on permanently as a casting director so the day of the prank comes and I'm just like on pins and needles so excited I'm like oh any moment now she's gonna call me and we're gonna be laughing and laughing together oh she's gonna love it you know this that's like some people's dream you know you come out to LA and then you end up on a TV show when you're out here like that's a cool experience for some people no not what happens I look at my phone and I have this long, long message from her basically telling me that I'm a terrible person. How could I do this to her? I exploited her. She was down on her luck. She was saying she was homeless. She was staying with a family member and that I embarrassed her. She gave out personal information on the TV show. Like, how could I do this to her? And this, this long, long message Message, basically like trying to make me feel terrible about it which to be fair you don't have to sign your approval to be on a TV show you have to give them permission but uh, yeah it was just awful and I'm like oh my gosh like you know I honestly I thought I was helping you out I thought I was doing you a favor and she said uh, how is that helping someone out um, how could this result in a real job so I think what happened was she was telling people that she got a job for sure when and actually, you know, I just told her that she got a job interview. So then she also wrote me that her parents were out in California and she hadn't seen them in three years because she was living in another country and she skipped visiting them to go to this job interview, which I didn't know that. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm so sorry. You didn't tell me that I feel terrible. And I did, I felt like really bad about that. Like I wasn't trying to hurt anyone. I honestly thought that she would like it, that she would be happy. 
she tells me that not everybody likes pranks and pranks are very childish and immature and I'm an immature person. And I was like, hello, like you do realize that I've been pulling pranks on YouTube and that's been my job for the past six years, right? But she went on and on just like trying to make me feel really bad. But then like a couple days later, I go on Facebook and she posts a picture hanging out with her family. But to top things off, I grew up in a really small town called Northfield, Minnesota. And in this small town, like everybody just kind of knows each other. And word started getting back to me that she went back home to visit and was telling people that I'm like a really mean person. And I really wasn't trying to be mean. I was trying to help her. I don't know how much I can emphasize that. Like I really thought that I was, you know, doing this girl a favor. So this person that she was telling this to was telling my other friends Friend. Like, I don't see how making someone feel uncomfortable is funny. How is that funny? I don't understand that. And I'm just like, making someone feel uncomfortable is hilarious. Haven't you seen any prank show ever? And like, it wasn't even a mean prank. Nothing happened to her. As a prankster doing public pranks and pranks on people that I don't even know, I've noticed that 99% of the time, people are happy to get pranked. They start laughing and they are like, oh my gosh, you, you got me. And it's this whole thing. So it's really unfortunate what happened. And like I said, like I wasn't trying to be a bad person and I guess that's something you learn in life that some people just don't like to be pranked, some people don't take jokes very well. So let me know in the comment section, would you get mad if someone set you up on a hidden camera prank show? Or what do you guys think about the situation? So that was story time with Nikki. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos.